Hi there. In this screencast, we'll look at uh, budgets. So the first step with budgets is to turn budgets on. Set up settings general and then budget. And we can only budget the income statement and we have a bunch of periods available. We'll go with monthly and choose OK. Now once you turn on budgets, uh, the way you budget is you budget every um, income and expense account on your chart of accounts. So you have to go to each account individually and budget those accounts. So I go to company, chart of accounts, and the first one, we're only going to budget three accounts, but in real life you have to budget all of your income and, and expense. So 4020 is the account we're going to budget, first of all. And under budget, we choose budget this account, and you have the ability to add a budget for each month or the entire year to be dispersed or allocated to each period. So the budget we're creating is uh, we've decided that we need at least $1,000 in revenue from sales per day to keep afloat. So that $1,000 per day, 20 days per month, 12 months per year equals 240000 so when I choose allocate to period, we require $20,000 per month in order to keep afloat, or that's our goal basically. Now I'm going to move to another account. I'm going to quickly do 4030, budget that. Now inversely, we can just enter amounts. So again, you can uh, enter the total budgeted amount for the year, allocate to periods, or a combination of both. I'm going to quickly do one more. I'll just do 4070. So that's how you add your budgets. Um, now let's take a look at how we uh, compare what, uh, how we're doing to our budgeted, what we plan to do. So you can go to reports, financials, and we have the gross margin income statement. So this allows us to compare period to period or actuals to budget. So I'll choose comparative income statement. The first period, what I'm, I'm gonna use the budgeted amount, current year budget, and for the first quarter, for the actual for the first quarter, and we have either percentage or amounts. So I'll just use a percentage. And I'll hide accounts with zero balance to make this thing lean. So we notice there's our budgeted amount, there's our actual, so we have quite a bit. Now notice this says 140%. Oh, here, let me just resize this short, sorry. This says 140%, so that seems like we're actually ex exceeding our budget by 140%. So if you modify that to be actuals, this is opposite of what the book says, by the way, that actually gives you a better percent there. We're down 73%, which is what we actually want to see. Now, in addition to um, manipulating those budgeted amounts directly, like we saw before, account by account, we can also go maintenance, update budget amounts, and either decrease or increase using positive or negative values there. So we were a little bit, uh, uh, we weren't anywhere close for, to our budget amounts. So if you want to decrease that, for example, by negative 20%, and maybe we're not doing so good with our expenses, we wanted to increase those expenses. Generally, if you meet your goals, you'll be increasing your incomes and decreasing your expenses for your budget amounts to a certain threshold for your expenses. But sky's the limit for your income, of course. So if I choose update now, you'll see when I go to 4020, here it is here, that our budget has now been changed, of course. It was 20,000, now it's 20% later, less. So uh, that's budgets in a nutshell. We'll look at budgets uh, 
per department again later on. Thanks so much for watching.